I love this thing. Realized I've never done an unboxing video. Done. Oh, I have to do a disclaimer. Canova doesn't pay me. I wish they would. I would gladly be their sponsor. You might wonder why Canova pops up frequently on this channel. I only recommend gear that I think is good you can use and might be able to afford. Many years ago, I decided to check out reasonably priced sliders and tell you what I thought was the best. After lots of research, I had five or six sliders in mind. The first one was from Canova. I never heard of these guys. So I purchased what I thought would be the first of many sliders. When I got it, I was impressed. Everything metal, nice little machine, no plastic, it looked great and just felt right. I liked it so much, I started using it on my paid productions. It still works smooth as glass, has never failed, has lots of miles on it. So I didn't bother checking any of the others out. When I get something that works and keeps on working, well, I'm done. So I got a longer one and it was the same and I'm still using it. I've used these sliders on rooftops, against walls, on mountains, cars, streets, benches, waterfalls, you name it. If that weren't enough, I found out later there are all sorts of things you can add to these sliders to make them more useful. Instead of coming out with new models all the time expecting you to spend more money and upgrade, Canova designed these sliders with expandability in mind. That's not only good engineering, but someone was thinking about the end user. For example, take any of their existing sliders and add the following. Targeted sliding on a single point using the Canova Master Panner. Motors and controllers with adjustable speeds allowing for smooth, precise shots, including time lapse. Pan and tilt heads for extreme camera control while sliding. Slider jibs which allow for some pretty dynamic motion shots. And the list goes on and on. Now I have used these sliders mounted on a double tripod setup for certain shots. And they were great. But when I'm shooting a scene, I never use them like they show in their pictures, mounted to a single tripod. I've used ladders, double stands, apple boxes, and anything you can think of, but never on a single tripod. Not that I wouldn't want to. It would be awesome to carry a single tripod with all the slider gear mounted on it and be ready to shoot. But here's the problem. Although the slider itself doesn't bow, Mount the slider onto a tripod and the thing's gonna move. When I'm filming with a slider, I can have a lot of weight on this thing, my cage, my camera, battery grip, a heavy lens, reference sound recorder, monitor, master panner, motors, and a bunch of other stuff, and that's heavy. I don't care what slider I use, something's gonna give and something's gonna bow. And sure, the solution is to use two tripods at either end, but that is really a pain to set up and more so when you need to move it and readjust the shot. Well, here's a solution. Canova has released another addition to handle this situation. It's the slider stability arm. I think the best way to show you this setup and what it does is simply show you this.
I'm told this will work with other sliders too, but I haven't verified that. Now, $90 may seem a lot for this thing, but I have to tell you, I have quick release plates on everything. And being able to grab this slider setup already mounted on a tripod off the truck or out of a trunk, rip my entire rig off of one tripod and slide it onto this setup all in a few minutes and able to get the slider shots I need is a godsend. I've included all the links below. I hope that helps and thanks for watching. Don't you like the red? Look at the red. Look at the red stuff. Little red stuff. That's detail, man. Little red on there. They could have put black. Would have looked like crap, but red is awesome. Look at the red knobs and red things here. Red is cool. Red is in.